So, my friends, rules and laws, super important. So yesterday, we talked all about rules. We talked about what they are, we talked about why we have them, and we talked about examples of them. And so what I did is I have our pictorial, just as a review, I did bring it home. So you all could have it here again. So again, guys, rules are super important. We have them because we need to know what's expected of us and we need to know how to act. And without rules, I believe somebody said things would be, I think the word was crazy. Did somebody use the word crazy yesterday? Was that CC? Was that CC that said things would be, would be, yeah. <laughs> I see you nodding your head and pointing and laughing right now, yeah. So yeah, if we didn't have rules at home or rules in the classroom, things would just be crazy. But there is a difference now between rules and laws. Today we're gonna to talk about laws. Can someone tell me, does someone have a prediction about what a law is what a law is isis go ahead please a law is something like a rule but um you always have to follow it you can't break a law you can't break a law okay thank you for sharing that who else has a prediction a law a law Odin, go ahead. Um, I think a law is like important, like more important than a rule. You think it's more important than a rule. Okay, I think we're gonna talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. Who else has a prediction for me? A law, Jerry, go ahead. Um, what I think is a law is something when um, you break the law, like say for example, you go above the speed limit. There's cops to tell you um, to give you tickets so you can, so you know never to do it again. Thank you. And Jerry, let me say as well, I'm loving that detail. I'm loving the example. I'm loving the complete sentences. Beautiful answer. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, Cece, go ahead. Uh, laws, uh, you have to follow them or else there's going to be consequences. And, um, laws are used to make the world a better place. Okay, thank you for sharing that, Cece. She used a big word consequences consequences yes that is huge now my friends this is the big difference between rules and laws so rules are a set of expectations so that we know how to behave and how to act and they're generally in the classroom and at home right laws on the other hand right for those of you that have heard that expression before laws are on the other hand are a set of rules made by the government it's a set of rules made by the government and that's generally for all of the citizens everybody out in society so we have rules as expectations in a classroom or at home generally made by a teacher, for example, or a mom or dad. We have laws that are rules made by the government for society, for citizens in public, right? That's the big difference. The other big difference is I do want to go back to CeCe's big word, consequences. That's the big difference a big difference between rules and laws. So if you break a rule, right, and let's go back to, I believe it was Isis's point about how we can't break um, laws. 
Well, there's breaking laws and there's breaking rules. The difference is the consequences of doing that. So if we break a rule, let's say, for example, um, um, you don't follow my rule of, of, of standing in number order at the end of recess. Do you think perhaps you would go to jail for that? No. Let's say out in public, out in society, you, you, um, you steal something from a bank. Do you think maybe you could go to jail for that? Yeah. The big difference between rules and laws are the consequences involved. It's the consequences. Okay? So if you're not sitting in the right desk in class, that might mean maybe you and I are going to conference, right? It's going to be, you know, so, no, and not you. I'm just seeing your face. So I'm using your name. So I'm sure you'd never do it. But let's say Noah made a mistake and sat where he wasn't supposed to sit. And so I would simply just talk to Noah and just, you know, straighten it out, solve that problem. That's what we do. It's, it's fine. We just solve the problem. No big deal. But if we're talking about seriously hurting someone or stealing something or like stealing a car or yeah, that's breaking a law and the consequences are huge. All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to project a chart. It's going to look like this instead of it's for laws. It's for laws this time. So we're going to talk about that. I'm going to share my screen. Give me just a second to get it up. And hopefully you'll be able to see okay. Can everyone see that? So I'm only seeing a few of you right now, but hopefully my screen is nice and clear for you. So on your laws chart, just like we did yesterday, I'm going to want you to put the definition of a law right underneath the word, right up on that top line. Laws are a set of rules made by the government. It's a set of rules made by the government. And I'm going to give you just a minute to write that down. I know government, big word, big word. Be careful on that spelling there. And so on this first side of our chart, just like the one you did yesterday, where it says, why do we have laws? Why do we have laws? And I'm going to show you in just a second. Sorry, guys, my screen is freezing just a little bit. Thanks for being patient. There you go. Why do we have laws? We have laws to protect people and to solve problems. We have laws to protect people and to solve problems. And this isn't out, you know, in our home or at school. This is out in public. This is out in society. This is amongst citizens, right?
And in a minute, we're going to go over a few examples of laws. I see all of you writing. Awesome. Thank you. And when you're done, you're looking right back at the camera, actively listening, being super respectful and responsible, making good choices for your learning. Beautiful, beautiful job, guys. Okay, so a first example of a law. And again, guys, my computer is lagging just a little bit, so it will come up in a second. The first law that I could think of was having a license to drive a car. That's a law. You have to have, moms and dads have to have a special driver license to drive a car. You can't just you know, walk, you know, sit in a car and take off. No, you have to prove to the government that you can drive that car, that you know how to drive that car. Because if you get caught driving a car without a license, big consequence, big consequence. And that consequence is in the form of a ticket where you have to pay money. Not a good thing, not a good thing. Another example is, and this is a big important one, especially when we do our riding to bike events at STAR, I mean, right, our riding to school events at STAR, is that you have to wear a helmet when you ride a bike. That is super important. It's coming up in a minute, guys. Again, I'm sorry. You have to wear a helmet when you ride a bike. It is the law, but also, as we see on the left in blue, it's to help protect us. It's to help keep you safe. So what happens if you're riding a bike and you fall off and you hit your head and you don't have a helmet on? I think that might be a trip um, like to the doctor, to the hospital. That law is in place to protect you. And I see many of you writing. I love it. Thank you. Another law that we have, and again, it's coming up in just a second, that we do not litter. It's kind of a strange word, right? We don't litter. What does that mean? Throwing trash on the ground. Just taking trash, throwing it on the ground. That's actually not okay. That's actually not okay. If you ever go to a park and you have a lot of trash, that trash needs to go in the trash can. If you're ever driving, you're in a car and mom's driving and you have trash in your hand, that trash doesn't go out the window. It goes in a trash can in the car or in a bag to put in the trash later on. That's responsible. And so another one, right? And this is a big one. It's kind of an obvious one. We talked about it. No stealing. No stealing. Stealing's against the law, guys. So if you go into, you know, Walmart, you go into Target, mom and dad, and you see a great toy that you want, and you just, you have to have it, you want it so badly, you can't take that out of the store without paying for it. That's called stealing, where we take things that just don't belong to us or that we haven't paid for. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna talk to mom and dad about that, about the toy that you want. Maybe they give you some extra things to do around the house and you earn the toy, right? 
but we definitely don't take it out of a store. We don't take things that don't belong to us. All right, the next one that I was thinking of too, is that when you're driving in a car, right? Moms and dads, they can't go through a red light, right? Red means stop, yes? Red means stop. So when we're driving the car, moms and dads are driving those cars, when we see that red light, we have to stop the car. That's the law. That's the law. If you don't, you could get into a lot of trouble, but more importantly, you could hurt someone. Someone could get hurt. Again, laws protect us. Laws are good things. Laws are good things. And so another one that I thought about is a permit. A permit to go fishing. How many of you knew that having a permit to fish is a law? Maybe some of you have gone fishing with mom or dad. Yeah, there are many places where you can't just, you know, like go into a lake somewhere and just go in there and fish and take the fish and leave. You have to have something called a permit to fish, which means it's a piece of paper saying it's okay for you to be there. That the government has said, okay, you can fish here. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you just a couple more minutes to finish writing this down on the chart, but please do not put it away because when I stop sharing my screen, we're gonna come back together. We're gonna to talk about it a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna give you just a second to finish it up. Give me a quick thumbs up if you're done. Okay, I'm gonna give you just a minute. And while you're waiting, please, in your brains, think about more examples of loss. Think about more examples of loss. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop the sharing. We're going to come back together. Okay. Look at, you know, my heart, Connor, you just made my heart so happy right now. You just knew what I was going to ask. You just knew. This is just third grade. And I just, I am blown away by how responsible you all are being right now. Look at just holding it up to the camera. You just knew. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at this right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. CJ, can you turn your camera on for me, please? Every single one of you, every single one of you, I see all of them and they're all beautiful. Thank you. Please put them down so you can write on them a little bit more. So who has another example of a law for me? A law. Who has one that they'd like to share? Ellie, go ahead. No speeding. No speeding. That's right. Speed limits, right? No speeding. Yes. Dylan Y, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Dylan T, go ahead. Do not kill someone? Oh. Oh. Absolutely not. Oh, my goodness. Um, did everyone hear Dylan, what Dylan T said? Yeah. Do not kill someone? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you for, for sharing that, Dylan. Yes, that just has a whole another word attached to it that we're just, we're not going to talk about that right now. Um, but m most certainly, mo oh my goodness, most certainly not. Um, Adon, go ahead. Uh, no, Adon, your audio is cutting out. I only got about two of the words that you said. I'm sorry. Uh, what you might want to do is rejoin the meeting. 
to reconnect your audio. Okay, who else has one for me? Isis, go ahead. So when it's the yellow light on, on the stoplights, you don't speed, you drive slowly. Oh, wow, that's very, that, wow. Isis, I am super impressed about that. Yes, there's red lights, yellow lights, green lights, right? And so the red light is, we're absolutely stopping. The yellow light, Isis, you're absolutely correct, where the cars, they need to start slowing down and thinking about stopping. And then, yeah, then you see the green light. If you see a green light, then that's okay to go. But of course, we're always careful. We're always careful before we go. Um, let's see, Sophia, an example of a law. Well, I was just saying something about one of the laws that we already wrote down. It's about the um, no passing red light. Um, you, uh, it, you also have to have a permit to uh, pass a red light if it's an ambulance or a fire truck. Oh, wow. Now that, thank you, Sophia, for sharing that. That is a whole different conversation that I would love to have with you sometimes. So yes, there are certain circumstances. When we have our emergency medical technicians, when we have our paramedics, our law enforcement officers, those individuals who help protect us, they do have a different set of laws that they must follow in order to protect us. So most certainly, if there was a fire, for example, right, all of the smoke that we've been having, if the fire trucks need to get to where they need to be and they have their sirens on, is it going to be okay that they go through a red light? It most certainly is. It most certainly is. Yes, that's a really good point, Sophia. We're, we'll have more conversation like that a little bit later. Thank you. Um, Noah, go ahead. Um, no breaking into cars and houses. Say again. No breaking into cars and houses. Oh, yes. No breaking into cars and houses. That's definitely against the law. Yeah, you could really go to jail for that. Yeah, big consequence attached. I'm going to take a couple more. Um, Anad, go ahead. You should always stop by stop sign too. Yes, again, stopping at a stop sign. Stopping at a stop sign. Let's see. Um, Jerry, go ahead. Um, when you get pulled over, don't run away from a cop because that's gonna make it even worse. Oh, they're yeah. Just, and then they're just gonna be trying to help you. Yes, so if you ever get pulled over for whatever reason by a police officer, yeah, you definitely want to wait. You don't just want to drive off. You definitely want to wait because yeah, if they stop you, it's for a reason. You're not taking off for sure. All right, my friends. So, oh, Adon, yes. Let's hope that your audio comes through this time. Go ahead. Uh drinking oh yeah okay wow you all are really talking about very grown-up adult things so Adon was talking about you really can't drink while driving no you cannot and we are not talking about you know um, soda and coffee and we're talking about drinks that adults would drink. And there are certain things that you, you cannot drink when you drive a vehicle. So yeah, definitely against the law. So my friends, again, talking about rules and laws and the differences. So remember that rules are a set of expectations so that we understand how to act. That's usually in class and at home. Laws are basically rules made by the government. And those are to protect us and to help us solve problems. And there are many, many laws. Big difference between rules and laws are the consequences involved. That's the big difference. All right, my friends, nice job today. <laughs>